the concept of submission in marriage, as described in the Bible, is often discussed with reference to Ephesians 5, 22, 33. This passage encourages wives to submit to their husbands as to the Lord, for the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church. It also calls for husbands to love their wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. Here's a summary of the key points from Ephesians 5, 22, 33. Wives are encouraged to submit to their own husbands as they do to the Lord. Um, the husband is considered the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church. As the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit to their husbands in everything. Husbands are instructed to love their wives as their own bodies, nourishing and cherishing them as Christ does the church. It's important to note that the term submit in this context is often interpreted as a mutual respect within the relationship, emphasizing the voluntary nature of the submission. It's not about a hierarchy of value, but rather a structure for loving and harmonious relationships, reflecting the unity between Christ and the church. Additionally, 1 Timothy 2, 11, 15 discusses the idea of women learning in quietness and full submission, not assuming authority over men. However, these scriptures should be interpreted in the light of the entire biblical narrative, which includes many examples of strong, influential women who played significant roles in God's plans. In any discussion of biblical teachings, it's crucial to consider the cultural and historical context, as well as the overarching message of love, respect, and mutual support that the Bible promotes in relationships. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and share, and please follow us for more inspiring episodes. 